Hey, from our Facebook page, Jesse James writes in, just need some clarification on what is possibly a noob question about hard drives. More recently, you can find more and more large volume size, two and a half inch drives, mm -hmm. we're talking one terabyte plus, in smaller passport sized enclosures like right. the Western Digital Passport series that don't require separate power sources to run, whilst the older, bigger style drives, the like the Western Digital Elements, use the full size three and a half inch hard drive that does need a separate power source. My question is, are bigger three and a half inch drives more reliable on the whole for performance and longevity, or can they even be more prone to failure as a single platter drive uh, may run cooler and be more reliable than a multi platter drive? With so many USB 3 passport sized drives on sale right now, I would really appreciate your insights on the matter, as I would really like to start using two and a half inch drives for all my storage needs. Thanks, longtime viewer, signed Jesse James in London. Cool. London. Uh, you know, short answer. They're about the same for reliability, right? You can go in and look at the mean time between failure, which is probably going to be several hundred thousand hours for each one. Um, you could also argue that the, the two and a half inch drives are designed for laptops and designed to deal with more shock. Uh, but in our real world use, we don't really see a huge difference. Um, some people think you might find some more two and a half inch failures because the nature of mobile computing, when people drop or, 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 or bump their drives in laptops, you know what I mean? Like, you know, two and a half inch drive goes into a bag. Like my bag is like 30 pounds of hell for any portable storage device. Um, but two and a half inch drives survive. I don't carry around my three and a half inch drives as much, um, and the three and a half inch drive enclosures aren't as robust. I really say though, the, the external two and a half inch drives, they're just nice because they're portable, they're easy to pack, you don't need an external drive. But if you need all of the space and the best performance, you probably want to be looking at three and a half inch external storage drives. And one last thing before I go, if you're really serious about your data not dying, you want an SSD because it is just about impossible to kill an SSD. Yeah, um, unless it has like a firmware bug or something. It's well, <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother. Uh, that's a whole nother. Some drives are better than suffering. others. I mean, if you're really unhinged, check out IOSafe's rugged portables, or essentially uh, an SSD or an HD inside of an aluminum enclosure. And outside of cutting it in half or melting it in a crucible, it is not going to die. Totally. Um, we did terrible, terrible, terrible things to that. If, if you're talking just straight capacity versus speed, I right. think your larger drives are generally going to win out overall. Unless you're talking solid state drives, of course, but that gets the price up a lot more and you get a lot less storage for buck. Right. So it's that balancing act. At home, for my NAS storage, it's all three and a half inch drives, but mm -hmm. that's just for straight capacity needs only. Uh, right. If I it, and that's also it's sitting on a shelf. It's at home. It's not being moved around. It's connected into a decent power supply. It's being monitored constantly. <laughs> Go with the two and a half inch drives if you're moving them around. Three and a half inch drives if you want all the capacity and they're staying at home. How's that? Perfect. Can we work with that. I think we can. All right.